What's up, everybody? We are here in West Hills looking at a property on the market. This is a three bedroom, two bath. This is 1,570 square feet, originally listed at a million 32. Now price reduced at 922. So this is a Valley Park floor model. So as you walk in, you have your living room. They have the laminate flooring in here. You have the vinyl windows, which let in some natural light. Usually how these are staged is you have a couch here that wraps around, and then you have your TV on this wall. We have a nice coat closet here. And then we walk in to your kitchen and dining room. This could also be a second living room or a family room. So you have your fireplace. This is your kitchen area. So you have recessed lighting, stainless steel appliances, plenty of cabinets for storage. You have the pull-out drawers. Another window letting in a ton of natural light. Plenty of counter space here. When they originally built these houses, you had uppers that came across here. Most of the homeowners have knocked that down. So you have the open site into the dining room. They also had double ovens here, which most homeowners have ripped out over the years. Then you have your laundry room. You have side-by-side -side washer dryers, more cabinets up here. The door to the outside. And I love these floor plans. I've grown up in them. I've seen them done many different ways. So you guys are gonna love this video because I'm gonna show you every way to remodel this house and make it personal to you. So we have the slider to the outside. Again, this could be staged as a dining room or a living room. Again, TV on that wall, couches right here. This is where the furnace and the water heater used to go. As you can see, they ripped them out. So now it's just an open closet. Keep this in mind and keep that closet in mind as well because this is just wasted space. So we walk down the hallway to your left, you have the guest bathroom along with closet space, cabinet space. So you have a vanity. You have your shower with a tile. This one's actually in really good shape. So this is considered your primary suite because it does have the ensuite, even though it's actually a smaller room. We'll go in here, you can see we have three closet doors. So you actually have pretty big closet space here. And then we have your primary bathroom. This is your shower. So it's actually kind of small, but if you guys wanted to make this bigger, this space right here is that coat closet when you first walk in. Behind this is where they put the furnace and the water heater. So you can actually extend this over and push it back. So you can have a full walk-in shower you can extend it to the left. You can have a bench seating here or two faucets, one on the right, one on the left, and make this a lot bigger of a shower. Or you can push the toilet over and make this a bigger vanity. So this floor plan, this is the three bedroom, two bath. They actually have a four bedroom, two bath as well to where they have a bedroom here, and then they have another bedroom on the other side. So this is actually the bigger of the bedrooms. If you wanted to make this your primary bathroom, 
you can extend the closet over and then you can actually make a doorway here either probably right here is usually where they are and make that an entry into your hall bathroom if you wanted ensuite access so the door would be right around here I've seen that done plenty of times in this model since this is the bigger room. So you have closet space here. This is the third bedroom. This is the smallest of all the bedrooms. And with the four bedroom plans, they have a bedroom that's similar in this size just on the other side of the primary suite. So you could use both of these bedrooms as guest bedrooms, and then you'd have something similar to this layout where you can push out the closet to make this bedroom bigger. You would take the square footage from this bedroom, get rid of that window, and you could even bring it out all the way to about right here so you would give your primary bedroom more space and this bedroom becomes a walk-in closet. I've seen that done before, which is pretty amazing. You definitely gain the square footage from, for this bedroom. I've also seen it where you rearrange the kitchen. You can get rid of this laundry room here and actually push all of this over. You could then stack those two washer and dryers, put it in a cabinet against that wall. Now you have a bigger kitchen space, more cabinets. I've also seen it where they will put, they will move all of this cabinet and counter space and they'll actually put a doorway here into your living room. Then you just get a giant island here, get rid of the peninsula. There's so many different ways to configure these houses. They're all from 1950s. So over the years, people have done them numerous ways. You can cut some of this wall out towards the cabinets to make this not so closed off. So you can take another two, three feet. Let's go out to the backyard. So for some reason, they fenced all of this off. Maybe they were thinking about creating an ADU back there, converting the garage. But as it is right now, this is the backyard. This is a nice vinyl fence, but you could definitely take it down to create more space. You have all this backyard here. So these lots are close to 9,000, I believe. So you can definitely take this garage, it's about 420 square feet, 440 square feet, and you can expand it all the way over here. You can make it probably close to a thousand square feet. That'll be a two bedroom, one bath ADU or a three bedroom, one bath ADU. There's the alley right there. And here's the garage. All these garages are usually about 20 by 20 square feet. So again, this is in West Hills. It's close to the Platte Village, not too far away from the Topanga Mall and the Topanga Village. If you guys are interested, feel free to reach out to me might be able to get it lower than the list price since it has been on the market for a while. So original list price was over a million. Now it's at 922. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. All my info is in the DMs below. It's in the comments below.